Good evening, I'm Jasmine Stiles. ABC Action News is keeping you in the loop about expanded eligibility for the COVID-19 vaccine. Come Monday, you can make an appointment if you're 40 and up. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tells us how Tampa's federally supported site is preparing for even more people. They're expecting a big influx of people over the course of the next several weeks. Eligibility expands to 40 and above this Monday, then 16 and above the following. But they tell me they're ready to tackle it. We ask that people be patient. A good rule of thumb as the state moves to widen vaccination eligibility to include more than 80% of the state's population by April 5th. Working very closely with our, those state and federal partners to make sure we do have enough vaccine allocated to us to reach that new age group that comes in. According to the Florida Department of Health, more than 5.6 million people have completed their vaccine series. Aaron and Don Sizemore joined that group on Saturday. Just feels like a ticket to freedom in a way and not not back to normal, but somewhat normal. They're both teachers and now they've got one less thing to worry about. Had to go back to work and be in front of students and parents and other teachers and the community. It just uh, it, it was definitely the right thing to do. And in just over a week, they hope to get their 17 year old son who works at Publix a shot at normalcy too. just knowing that he can he's exposed way more than we think he is. Coming up next week, Florida is set to receive more than 1.2 million vaccine doses, the largest allocation yet. And to make sure things go smoothly, a reminder from the Tampa Greyhound site. We just encourage those that are scheduled for their second dose to please come on their scheduled day. It has to do with our vaccine allotment. Um, bring your CDC card with you that tells you when you got your first dose. And for those that are trying to come in for a first dose. We just ask that you follow that executive order criteria. This is just one of many vaccination sites across the Tampa Bay area and appointments are not necessary here, but if you'd like to make an appointment at another site, head to our website abcactionnews.com. We've detailed those steps for you. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.